Pastor Hudson, I'm delighted that you're with me today. And today I'm going back to the book of Psalm chapter 4 and verse number 1. And so I'm going to read that verse to you and then we're going to go into our devotion today. It says to the chief musician on Naginoth, a Psalm of David, hear me when I call, O God of my righteousness, thou hast enlarged me when I was in distress, have mercy upon me and hear my prayer. And today we're going to talk about the part of having mercy on us. And uh, David is asking God in this part of this verse for what God has promised to others. He's asking God for what he has granted to others. And David is asking God for what he hopes is still available to him. Now, the reason why I believe he would think that is because in the book of Exodus, chapter 34, verse 6 and 7, the Bible says that the Lord passed before him and proclaimed the Lord, the Lord God, merciful and gracious, long-suffering and abundant in goodness and truth, keeping mercy for thousands, forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin, that by no means clear the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children and upon the children's children unto the third and to the fourth generation. And Moses would go on to say, Lord, if I have found favor in thy sight and you've granted mercy, then please go with us. When you look at the word mercy, it means properly to bend or to stoop. And, and that is in a kindness to an inferior. And when God grants mercy, he stoops or he bends to our lever level he bestows a mercy upon us and we gain his favor and and also it means to implore and it also means to grant to act graciously to entreat to be merciful and also it means when we make supplication in other words when we can't reach up to him he can come down to where we are in other words when we can't get up to his level he comes down to ours and david is asking the lord for mercy and the hope today is that you will ask the lord for his mercy do we deserve it no but it would be great and it is awesome to know that god still extends his mercy to his people and that's really what david is praying for in this moment in Psalms 119, 75 through 77, the Bible says, I know, Lord, thy judgments are right, and that thou in faithfulness hast afflicted me. Let I pray thee thy merciful kindness be for my comfort, according to the word of thy servant. Let thy tender mercies come unto me, that I may live, for thy law is my delight. Psalms 119 and 132 says, Look thou upon me, and be merciful unto me, as thou usest to do unto those that love thy name. In fact, David here is saying, Lord, as you used to do to those that have called upon your name and they love your name, you gave mercy to them. He's saying, I'm asking you again for mercy today. Second Corinthians chapter 8 and verse 9 says, For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, for your sakes he became poor that ye through his poverty might be rich, understanding that Christ came to demonstrate and to show us the mercy of God. I want to close with this story. It's said once that a mother approached Napoleon seeking a pardon for her son. The emperor replied that the young man had committed a certain offense twice and justice demanded death. But I don't ask for justice, the mother explained. I plead for mercy. But your son does not deserve mercy, Napoleon replied. The mother again spoke and said, Sir, it would not be mercy if he deserved it. Mercy is all I ask for. Well then, said the emperor, I will have mercy. And she spared the woman's son. I'm so thankful that God did not give me what I did deserve, but he gave me what I didn't deserve. And today, let someone know that they may, somebody may feel as though they don't deserve God's mercy. And they don't, but God gives mercy 
anyway to those who will humble themselves and seek his face. His mercy will be granted in their life. Let's pray. Lord, thank you today that your mercy, God, is given, Lord Jesus, to those who don't deserve it. If we did deserve it, God, it wouldn't be mercy. But Lord Jesus, thank you for mercy to help us in our time of need and the time that we feel like that we are without hope, that your mercy will save us and your mercy will help us. I thank you for it. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for being with us today. We'll see you tomorrow for the conclusion of Psalms chapter 4 and verse number 1.